Hey guys, what's up and welcome to a new episode and we are playing Last Titan Standing and we're going into the fast gameplays for you guys. So nice and easy for you to watch and have a bit of fun watching as well. The class setup that I'm actually using at the moment is the uh, rapid fire on the quad rocket. I had to actually think then, uh, I was thinking, wait a minute, what's this weapon called? Shit, I forgot the name of the weapon. No, <laughs> okay. So you can see this guy's basically just got a hit marker with the plasma railgun as well and I've just come behind him, just gonna completely spray him, he's in a bad position, just gonna punch him back. Obviously he's gonna run away now because he's majorly damaged. But we got the rocket salvo to finish him off as well, we can take those shields down nice and fast with the rocket salvo. There you go, and he's forced into nuke. Right, now that he's forced into nuke, what we're going to do is we're actually going to ignore the pilots at the minute and we're just going to move straight on to the next item. They absolutely have no idea that I'm behind them, to be honest, even though I'm ripping them to shreds here. Turn around, bro! <laughs> there you go, okay, so Titan 2 down, you can see the human pilot there. Just going to come here, I'm going to... Eliminate him though with a quad rock. And then we're gonna go on the hunt for the next item. Right, so we can see him on the minimap and my team is gonna take him out there. There you go, boss monster picks up the kill. And you can see one of them's left at the minute, so there's a few high ranks in this gameplay, and you do have a G1. Right, so we're actually using the supercharger burn card here. You can see the burn cards that they've used. Now, what I've said there is they've used, if you take note of that, an amp charge rifle. So chances are he's going to actually put his Titan into auto mode and just go onto one of the roofs with the charge rifle and then just head glitch. So we just gotta be wary of that guys. Now obviously what you wanna do is when your shields do actually get knocked down, you don't wanna just keep attacking because your health is gonna rapidly go down from that point. You do wanna end up regening your shields and then you wanna work on things like this, like flanking. You can see he's took Grim out, but I'm gonna do exactly the same to them. That guy's been hit quite big and I'm just gonna work on this guy up here. I'm just gonna move back. So that's a free potential free on one situation right there. I've got another Titan helping me at the minute, but I'm actually being damaged there, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to work on the flank there, I'm going to expect them coming this way, and boom, there you go, pays off straight away, and we get the kill there, and then we're going to reflank and go the other way this time. So you can actually see I just took out a human pilot with the crowd rocket as well. Two more titans have been downed, and I believe that was boss monster, got a double art cannon kill on both of them. And there you go, me and boss, nice little punching, and boss picks up the squeeze. Right guys, we are moving into round 3. As we're moving into round 3, we think, screw it, let's just get in there and let's get it done. Okay, so as we're getting in there, this uh, plasma railgun guy doesn't learn his lesson. When you've got a plasma railgun, you actually want to be a bit more of a stealthy ninja, and you want to be using corners to your advantage, but you also want to be using range as well. You get close range against the plasma railgun, you won't stand a chance. Uh, in fact, I sort of worded that wrong, actually. If a plasma railgun is in close range, they won't stand a chance. Especially when you got something like this ripping through them. Just messing around with him there a little bit. I was trying to get the challenge to be honest, because the challenge was the card rocket kill, so I was just waiting for it. But anyway, we pick up the squeeze regardless on that one. And we're almost into round four. Okay, so round three down and coming up round four. So we're actually in a four-man party at the minute. And as we're moving into the four-man party, sorry if you hear any background noise there. Just 
going to punch myself away. A lot of people do tend to come straight under here, to be honest with you, and I'm going to use that to my advantage, as you can see here. Do, 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 do. Oh, he's got a particle wall, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to back off that. It's the particle wall, you don't need to challenge it, it's pretty stupid to challenge it, to be honest, so I'm just working on the flank from that guy there. You can see how that one worked out, and there you go, that titan's been taken down. There's a human pilot in the middle there uh, somewhere. Just gonna keep it moving. This guy's got the uh, amp tart cannon. Not being damaged as much as the guy is, so we'll just keep attacking. There you go. My shields are gonna come back up now. There's another guy, last guy right at the top. There you go. And come on. And there you go. Right, so I get the squeeze from him again in the squeeze. And that is the end of the gameplay, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Peace out.